our social media panel, we talk a lot about the big three, Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn, but there are so many other great and not so great sites out there. Today, we're going to tell you which ones we think you should know about. I'm joined by my social media panel, Chloe Morrison from Nuga.com, and uh, one of our interns, Natasha Miralov. She's a student at Southern Adventist University. So, Chloe, you're a big fan of this app called Nudge, which is fairly new, and it's a health and fitness app. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, it's actually, I like it because it's uh, locally made. Um, some local residents came up with the idea. Here and in Chattanooga? Here in Chattanooga. Nice. And um, it's kind of like the way they described it to me is clout for fitness. Okay. So it gives you a score based on um, what you input as far as what you eat and what you drink and how much you sleep and how much energy you have. And you can kind of compare it uh, to your friends what kind of fitness score you have, what kind of you know health score you have, and um, I think it kind of brings that com competition. Right. Um, it encourages you to get out exactly. there. Exactly. Seeing what your other friends are That's doing. That's the name. Nudge. It's nudging you to gotcha. kind of be a little more active. So, so it's a competition I think it's to get cool. that better score every day. Than yeah, absolutely. Best. Very cool. <laughs> so um, another one that I wanted to talk about. I love this one. It's called Meetup, and this one's a little bit more popular. Um, it allows you to join groups. In your hometown, like this is mine, I'm, you know, Chattanooga Green Moms, Chattanooga Hiking Meetup. It allows you to go check out what these people are doing, like-minded people. You see different hikes they have going on every day. And so you can get out there. I love this because it allows you to be social, face-to-face -face social. It takes social media from the iPad to the outdoors to actually socializing with real people. So it encourages actual socialization. Absolutely. I've, I've done it for yoga. You can ha There's yoga meetups in Coolidge Park that you can get access to via this. And it's Natasha, for college students, is this something that you think you guys would be interested in? I mean, yeah, starting out in college, we kind of have our own little circles, but I'm a senior. I need to start to get out there. I need to figure out what is out there, which doesn't involve just the college. So I think this is the first great step to right. get out there. And the next one we want to talk about, this one's a little bit trendy here. It's called Hello, and I Hello. love the name, Hello. <laughs> This one, here it is, they s kind of boast that they're simple, beautiful, and ad-free. The catch is, you have to have an invitation. How it, nice is it's that? It's in the beta version, mm -hmm. and I think there's... What does that mean? It means very preliminary, like testing. Like, right. I think that's the very test phase. And um, they're kind of calling themselves like the anti-Facebook, like no ads. Um, but, I mean, I'm on it, and it's a little hard to navigate. It's a little confusing how to use it. So I'm thinking that it, it'll need to progress a little more s to be more user-friendly, maybe. And it likes to kind of focus on the visual arts is what I've noticed. Yeah. So a lot of designers on here, a lot of artists. Um, Natasha, you kind of checked this out. What, what, you know, pass or fail, what do you think? Well, I think for now, as she already said, like, they're just starting up. They're still trying to figure out. There are some glitches. They admit to it, mm -hmm. of course, but they're still working on it. But yeah, I've checked it out. It looks very artsy. I mean, they have that whole elegant, look at me, I'm so hipster, black and white style. <laughs> but um, yeah, they're still figuring it out. It may just end up being another page for artists to get out there and right show themselves. It seems like it's kind of, you know, that, that elite group of artists that they want to have their own way and they're too cool for Facebook or Twitter. <laughs> I, I agree with the hipster statement. So there's a lot you can check out. These are really fun ones that we seem to like. So thanks a lot for joining us in our social media panel and we'll be right back in a minute with more. Stay tuned.